So moving right along, we did adding, subtracting. Now again, it would make sense we're going to do multiplying and dividing just like we did with the fractions and decimals. So you're going to love multiplying. Um, the main thing is, is that students get all these like rules mixed up together. So we really want to make sure we keep the rules for multiplying and dividing different from adding and subtracting. So the first thing is, is the same sign if the product, remember the product is the answer to a multiplication. So if the product of two integers with the same sign, it's always going to be positive. Right? So here's your example. We know this is always positive. 3 times 7 is 21. But if it was negative 3 times negative 7, that's also going to be positive. And I'm going to do a separate video to show you why that works. Okay, You can think about it as you're going to remove three sets of guys from the dance floor. So if everybody was paired up on the dance floor, you're removing 21 guys. So then that's automatically going to leave 21 girls with no one to dance with. And then your other situation you're going to come across is if they're different signs. So the product of two integers with different signs is negative. So 4 times negative 2. So if you had four groups of two guys in each group, you're going to have a total of negative 8. And again, different signs. Negative 4 times 2 is going to give you negative 8. And again, I'll show you kind of why that works with the dance floor situation in another video. So one of the things that I came up with, um, kind of an adaption of some other teachers um, with the triangle that they use, I like to call it the sleeping medical doctor, MD, integer man. And the reason I like to add this MD is to remind you it only is for multiplication and division. So here's what I like to do. Because doctors are usually pretty tired. So I like to make a bow tie, put a little MD. He's a medical doctor that helps us out with multiplication and division. So again, that reminds us it's only for multiplication and division. Everybody wants to use this for addition and subtraction. It's like, no, you can't do that. So the sleeping integer man only helps us for multiplying and dividing. Okay. So same signs, positive, different signs, negatives. So here's an example. If I had 2 times negative 5, the way that the integer man is if I was to cover up the positive and the negative, okay, and I'll just use a highlighter. If I was to cover up oops, a negative and a positive, I'm going to be left with a negative. So what I'm left with is your final answer. So it's a negative 10. So again, I'm covering up. I have one positive and one negative. Oh, my answer is going to be negative. But if you just remember same signs positive, different signs negatives, you'll get that as well. So here's a couple of examples. 4 times negative 2. So pos positive, different signs is going to give us negative 8. Different signs negatives, same signs positive. Oh, again, this is different signs. Different signs is going to be a negative, and I do my normal multiplication. 9 times 2 is 18. Okay. Remember, when a number is smacked up against a parenthesis, it stands for multiplication. Here, I just put the extra multiplication um, symbol just so you remember that. All right, and then I have 0 times a negative 14. Well, any time thing times 0 is going to be 0. 
Okay, and then our last example is, again, we're going to evaluate this algebraic or this ex algebraic expression. So I'm going to replace the a with negative 6. Why negative 6? Because that's what the problem told us to. So here we go. 5 times negative 6. And whenever you substitute in for a variable, you want to put a parenthesis there. So 5 times negative 6, different signs, negative. So negative 30. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen.